All right, people, Big Ed here, doing a, another video. This video is going to be about um, Murphy's Law when you're working on motorcycles or cars or whatever it might be. Always Murphy's Law. It is real. Trust me, it's real. Perfect example. So, um doing the gasket head gaskets and base gaskets on my Harley and I decided to go ahead and take the uh, cylinder studs out and I'll tell you why I, I decided to go ahead and take them out but they were in there like so first one come out no problem second one come out no problem third one come out no problem and that damn old Murphy's Law kicked in fourth one it would not come out easy like the other ones so instead of trying to twist it real hard and take a chance of breaking it off I took my torch over there a little propane torch and I heated it up right around in here and I only had to do it for like maybe 15 seconds I didn't I didn't keep it there a real long time and then I uh, it, some bitch came came right out I said okay cool Murphy's Law wasn't too bad this time I survived it I start working on the other side. First one easy, second one easy, third one easy. When you know that damn fourth one, not so easy. Had to get the old torch again. And it was that one back there. I heated up that spot and it come out. Now uh if you ever doing these studs And you're trying to, I use the two nuts. Or, yeah, you put two nuts on the end right there. Lock them together. And then wrench on the bottom one. But if it doesn't feel like it's going to twist out easy, don't do it. Try to heat it up. If it don't come out when you heat it up, you might not want to try to take it out. You have to go to plan B, which I'm not sure what plan B is. Just leave it, I reckon. But, um, anyways, so at first, you know, the instructions for my head gasket said replace the cylinder studs and the cap screws. So I had to order them. Then I had several people say, you know, maybe you shouldn't you really don't have to do that which is true on a lot of bikes probably but these uh i don't know if it's just these evos or what but i think it's like 1984 to about 95 no 1984 or 85 to about 94 um these studs they had that little lip right there. They had it facing up. And there's a guy, uh, Low Country, Low Country Harley Davidson. I think they call him Doc Harley. Go check out his channel. He was talking about when they're up like this. Oh, so also, uh, JC Can You his channel and he was telling me about this you know turn these turn the rings down to where it's that lip right there that little ring will be flush you know bottom out of that ring and then you torque it to like 10 foot pounds but what that doc harley was saying is this can be one of the causes of a blown head gasket because 
your uh, cylinder bolts, which are actually nuts because they screw on. Everybody calls these right here, they call these bolts. Some of them have uh, certain letters on CP. There's a CP right there. He said these are made out of cheaper metal for certain years and they st end up stretching from the heat and coolness and everything but anyways he said when you go to torque sometimes that bolt that I just showed you or nut whatever you want to call it it bottoms out so you don't get the correct torque spec and then you know with all these aftermarket gaskets and everything you got different thicknesses of them gaskets so I know a lot like this one they tell you what this torque it at and everything but they also say put brand new ones in and what have you so I got them ordered I got them out all right it wasn't that much of a pain in the ass I survived Murphy's Law so I just wanted to tell y'all um, like I said don't quote me on it but I think it's 84 to about 94 or 85 to 94 or something like that they had this little ring turned up and I think it's better if you turn down that you got more room to torque torque down too but uh Watch that uh, video um, from Doc Harley at Low, Low Country Low Country Harley Davidson. He can explain it to you a lot better. Um, anyways, it's supposed to be a short video, but ended up being kind of long. But like always, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And peace out.